up guys welcome to a new video today we are going to be um we're going to be retouching this image of the beautiful carly so let's just get straight to it what i'm going to do right now is just pull up my layers right here and i'm also going to open up my actions and we'll get to work so the first thing i want to do is just take out these straight hairs that here i won't take out everything you know just uh, a few of them right um there are different ways to go about this uh, if you want to like just do it the easy way just duplicate your layer um yeah just pick your spot healing brush and then you can just you know you can just go this way and your spot healing brush will take care of a lot of those um strays that are here that's the that's probably like the easiest ways to go, one of the easiest ways to go about this right um at the end of the day it doesn't always work but when it's just a strand um it's easy to take out that way you know when you're just taking out one strand um one strand after the other it's just easy to take out but you know these things all don't always work when you have like uh, a bunch of strands here so all these strands here you know see it makes a mess so what i typically do in this situation is just create a new layer Take a clone stamp tool make sure i am on sample all layers and you know just take my flow all the way to like maybe 14 somewhere somewhere pretty low and um, what i'm going to do right now is just take a big brush and um just paint over this you know that's that's typically the trick you know just gets out of the way at the end of the day we're not trying to take everything out just clean it up you know that's a really neat trick that you should actually use um, retouching, especially for clients, all about saving time. And um, you don't want to spend all your time taking out straight hairs one after the other. So quick tip right at the beginning of this video, right? Okay, great. Um, just get this out of the way. Like I said, soft, soft brush, you know, or soft clone stamp brush and um, yeah. So you can see quickly gotten these out of the way and we don't have to worry about that anymore so what i'm going to do right now is just create a stamp visible layer command option shift and e so what i'm going to do right now is run my basic frequency separation action this is one of my actions from my retouching essentials pack and um 14 amazing actions in that if you want to check it out then links are in the description below um you can check it out and um just use it to retouch like me <laughs> So right now um we are retouching an image that is i would say it's kind of like it's halfway you know like from the head to the waist and in a situation like this what i'm going to do is just use a radius of about eight or nine i feel like that works very well um typically always look at the face what you want to do is um, still see a little bit of the texture that's um very important when you're adding aggression below you just don't want it to be like all blurred out right okay great so now that we've done that what i'm going to do I just pick my clone stamp tool remember my clone stamp tool was on all layers before so right now i'm just going to change it to current layer and um do the needful <laughs> now i'm just going to remove a lot of these blemishes on the face um remember the whole idea is to be as efficient as possible or take my flow all the way back to 100 percent and just take out these blemishes real quick so when i'm done taking out these blemishes i'll be right back Okay, great. We are done removing the blemishes right now. So let's see uh, before and after you guys can see did a pretty decent job at that before and after uh, I can see a few things here that I don't like. Um, okay, great. Take care of those now. The next thing I want to do is just run my complete dodge and burn action. Now, if you don't have this, trust me, you need this. 
when it comes to retouching your portraits okay great so now that i have this set up um what i'm going to do is just stamp my micro dodge and burn that's exactly what i'm going to be doing here so i'm just going to pick a soft brush make sure it's a really really soft brush and i'm going to take my floor to one percent and what i'm going to do right now is start dodging and burning so what i'll start with is my i just start with my burn because that's that's what i typically do um make sure that your <laughs> your foreground color is white uh okay and just get some of this out of the way nah, i don't think i'll spend a lot of time dodging and burning this image you know um, what i just want to do is just fix some places and how light is falling on her face uh well i always say that and then end up micro dodging and burning like almost everything but let's see let's see where i can get to with this okay great so there are just some things that uh, i'm not comfortable taking out with coin separation that i'll rather just fix with micro dodge and burn because um it's just easier all around now my micro dodge and burn for this particular image is all over the place i'm just jumping around and not just sticking to a particular place and fixing that place and the reason why i'm doing that is i'm just looking at like things that really stand out because i like to fix those and then um and then just head to frequency separation and just fix the rest with that that way it just makes it like uh it just makes it easier for me you know with frequency separation and um, i don't have to move colors and um too many colors around you know with dodge and burn what you're just doing is playing with light and shadows and you know evening out the skin that way with um frequency separation you tend to move a lot of colors around and um, i don't want to do that okay great so uh what we're going to do is just jump out of my check layer and see what i've done with this you guys can see i've done a different decent job by taking out those smile lines um smile lines are typically just caused by makeup so taking out those smile lines and, um, and then we're good so all i'm going to do is jump back into my good and burn and i'll see you guys in a bit Okay guys, so I have done most of my micro dodge burn and I did most of it on my subject's face. I didn't really work on the body because I don't have to. That's going to just be a lot of work to do on the body. So let's see what a micro dodge burn looks like. There's that before and this is after. As you can see, we fixed a lot of those highlights and shadows that are just making the skin not look as um, smooth as it should look, right? Okay, great. So at this point, I do not need my second layer of micro dodge burn. I would just create one as a backup and I have my micro dodge and burn so I'm just going to turn that off because when I create my dodge and burn layers it creates everything together right so what I'm going to do is just create a new layer my basic frequency separation and I'll just merge it together I really don't need that and then I'll run my advanced frequency separation on the new layer I just um, created don't forget to use the same radius that you used before and um, right now I'm just going to pick my mixer brush tool you know Okay, so just use this sense up here and uh, make sure this is toggled on and then we are good and then just blend between your highlights and your shadows in mixer brush tool make sure that you are working on either your highlights or your shadows and if you are going to work between both do not just roll your brush around the screen this way you know just be careful and what we're just doing with mixer brush tool is just you know like we've done most of our i'll say most of our fix up with the uh, micro dodge and burn mix up brush tool just to like just smoothen out the skin with the high frequency separation okay great as you can see up here 
um, we had that hash transition transition between highlights and shadows and um, we'll fix that up and um, yeah so that's what we're just doing with that mixer brush tool nothing nothing crazy you know just fixing up tiny things and now what i'm going to do is work on the body with a grain separation um, remember just be careful so that you don't have your image looking fake and you don't have your subject skin looking extremely plastic right um and that way you'd make sure that does not happen is if you use the right radio so like i said make sure that you can still see some texture when you're using your blur and then you'll be good okay great so at this point we have our image looking really really good you can go in and fix some more textures if you want that's why we have the high layer here in the advanced frequency separation so you can just fix more textures if you want for the most part um this is what i this is what i typically do and this is um typically my um retouching technique right okay great so we have this looking this way and i absolutely love how it looks i mean we can see a lot of texture but because this is a portrait i'm not going to really stress about fixing textures um that's going to be for like a beauty photo shoot so right now what i'm going to do is pick a brush make sure that my flow is on uh, i'll probably say around three percent that's what i typically use and now we're doing um global dungeon burn so i'm going to turn off all of these right and um it's just my frequency separation that i'm going to toggle on and off right and the reason why i do this is that i want to see the exact place that we had our lights before we fixed a lot of that using the micro dodge and burn so what i'm going to do is start with dodging and um, i'm going to dodge the forehead as you can see i'm not zooming into you know like dodge at this level here uh, when it comes to global dodge and burn what i'm just going to do is just work with the highlights that were there before and you know work around here all these places just and um I'll, I'll get some of her lips here too you know um these tiny um i'll say lights down her skin you know just work on all that at the end of the day you don't want to spend too much time doing your global dodge and burn because you already spent a lot of time with micro dodge and burn you spent a lot of time with um with um frequent separation you know removing the blemishes and all that you don't spend too much time with global dodge and burn so this is just um i would say this is just highlighting um the contrast on your image that's exactly what this is doing okay great so look at my global dodge and burn looks great if i turn on my frequent separation boom see how beautiful that looks right we have our image looking nice and beautiful the goal of retouching is to still have your subject look as natural as possible you know um just try and make sure that you're not leaving traces of retouching in there so what i'm going to do right now is run my eyes and teeth whitening action and um i'm going to take my flow up to 100 percent and um just make the eyes brighter okay great now i can reduce my opacity so that doesn't look fake remember the goal is to make sure that the image doesn't look fake okay great okay i love how this is coming out um just gonna add some contrast using levels uh nothing too crazy in here just drag my whites in you can see like the highlights are already peaking i don't want that to pick so just a little bit right here i think that contrast is uh definitely more more than enough right um to so just add some gray to this image what i'm going to do is use my color lookup and add one of my lots to it uh, i think i used two natural skins oh that looks beautiful that looks gorgeous let's see what the three looks like uh i mean the three looks good too um, i'll probably just have to reduce my opacity but the two just the two just fits it just hits different so i'll probably use the two uh just my opacity get the skin looking nice and golden and um yeah this uh this is very monotone uh monochromatic <laughs> this is a very monochromatic image um pardon my french um and it just it just looks good when you're not doing too much in the image and everything just looks um perfect okay great so this about it this is it um quick retouching video um i'll do another one on natural light and how to shape the light better when you are um retouching natural light but this is a studio image looks beautiful um let's see how before 
that's our before and this is our after uh, i'm just going to make sure this fits the screen okay great so let's see our before and our after so i'm going to zoom into the face so you guys can see that draw it down before and after that's how you can retouch skin and have it looking really nice and beautiful if you want to get any of my actions i'll put links in the description below you can check those out on my skin tone lots by the end of the day um if you don't want to get the actions and you have maybe some other actions that you're using you can still get the same effect all you have to do is just understand frequency separation micro lodging burn and also you know how to use these techniques to achieve really nice beautiful and natural skin i also just put a shameless um, plug out here to my courses um, i'll put a link in the description um, to my courses and also put um, a card up here so you can click it right here on the right hand side of your screen and go check them out if you are looking to take your retouch into a whole new level then you know that would definitely help you help you secure that bag by taking your retouch into another level but anyways thank you so much for watching today's video i'll see you guys in the next one have an amazing day guys peace out